Another exciting day. The custom chopper has arrived. Harley Davidson, there it is in the back of the van, and we're going to take this thing out. Now this is super exciting. This thing is bling, bling, bling right now. I haven't seen it in months. We had some modifications done to it and a major service. This is an award-winning, show-winning custom chopper. But let me explain this bike. Got a custom 21-inch PM Original front wheels up front. We've got the single caliper on the left-hand side, all six piston. Why? because we wanted to keep the whole right hand side of this bike completely clean so you don't see any disc brakes here on the front nor would you see them on the rear so it's a nice clean image from the right hand side the front end is a 10 inch over Fred Codlin custom front end with a custom half moonlight headlight again Fred Codlin then we've got the Z bars built by LA Choppers and then we've got the BDL hand controls up here and we've got custom hand grips but we've got the rubber here for registration purposes and custom mirrors to match the skulls that you find on the bike as you can see them here skulls and flame matches all my airbrushing and we've also got it here on the custom front fender so this front fender was a piece of sheet metal what we did was we cut it up and we cut it into shape and then we had it all painted up with none other than House of Colour. So I had Sydney airbrushing do all the custom airbrush work. This thing is meticulous. The airbrushing and paint job on this bike alone cost over $10,000. You can't see the fine detail, but you can see all the flames, the smoke. It is absolutely amazing. You'll get lost in it. It's like 3D, including the wheels. Those wheels are 3D. Then to the masterpiece on this bike, my custom Patrick's 145 cubic inch V-twin Evo motor. There it is. This is the pinnacle here. This is a $29,500 US engine sitting here with custom exhaust, custom Ace of Spade air cleaner. It's just amazing. There is nothing like this. Custom cut forward controls. So you will never find these forward controls on any other bike, period only for this bike. Custom foot pegs as well. We've got a Jim's six speed overdrive gearbox. This gearbox alone is six and a half thousand dollars US. Custom oil tank. The starter motor is unbelievable. It's over 2.4 kilowatts. I needed the biggest starter motor to start this brute force here. This thing is just phenomenal. That engine took four months to build. When you move over to the back, you'll see what I mean by it being a complete clean cut design. So the rims have no brakes here to disturb that image. Don't forget, this is a full show winning bike. So we've won at Motor X, we've won at Bankstown Bike Show, Best Evo, Best Chopper Award. It's just phenomenal. Then we come over to the rear, we've got the rear fender here. This thing is custom cut, so I had a tribal cut at the bottom with all the airbrushing going in here with the airbrushed skulls, more flames. It's all about skulls, flames. Why? Because when we started BJ's Custom Choppers oh, back about 15 years ago, I wanted to have a unique bike, unique design, so we built this bike, but we built it and it took about eight years to make. So eight years of the creation, then we came up with this. And we've got the door here etched into the seat, so this is a custom seat. This set us back about two and a half grand. Amazing leather quality, it's phenomenal. We've got a Sproder. So it's a sprocket, rotor, and brake caliper all in one. Custom made by Exile Cycles in the US for us. Keeps a nice clean look, as I said, it's all on the left hand side, nothing on the right. It's 
a left-hand drive bike, as you can see, left-hand chain, left-hand drive train. I've got a BDL here. This is the biggest BDL that you can get. It's over three and a half inch belt, it's thick, enough guts to run this beast. Got the oil filter, it's all built in. We've got the custom shift rod here to match the mirror and it matches the rest of the paint with all the skulls and flames once again. And then what we have here is from AMH Cycles is the most unique electronic ignition. It all just sits in here, you turn the key and that's it. Then you press the button and the bike starts up. We've got nice Dakota Digital Speedo. So we've got a Speedo here in the RPM counter. It's all electronic, you switch it on and you can see what we mean. It's amazing and everything works, everything's so unique. So these controls, that's the starter button. Everything's hidden, so all the electrical runs through the frame in this bike. So nothing is exposed. That's what we wanted, a nice clean look. And at the same time, keep into that original American chopper style. So when you think choppers, choppers were a thing of the 70s. And they came back again in early 2000s, 2005 to 2010. Everybody wanted a chopper. So we started with a normal standard Harley Davidson, a 1972 model, gutted it all up, chopped up the frame, extended the rake, changed it all a bit so the frame's all custom. Everything completely won off on this bike. And now what we have is a traditional American chopper. Not over the top, but still traditional. And today you can't create these bikes again. It's impossible to find parts. Nobody is into the big raked out chopper, stretch frames. It doesn't exist anymore. This is it. And we're bringing it back into trend with this thing here. This is amazing. We didn't go with a 300 rear end because choppers, they always had the skinny tires at the back. So we stuck to the 260 on this bike. But this is it. And it's now time for me to run it and you'll see, and you'll hear what this 145 cubic inch motor sounds like. Turn the key, press the compression buttons on the engine. Now start it up. You probably can't hear me, it is that loud. Wow, wow. What a fabulous cruiser. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> this thing is insane! The sound of the exhaust, the amount of torque that I have is phenomenal. I am loving this torque, I am addicted. I can just see everybody's eyes glancing at me in their cars. <laughs> it just wants to go. This engine was built for drag racing purposes. It is amazing. Get a whole heap of school kids there. They're gonna love this thing. Woo! <laughs> this is unbelievable, guys. This is just another level of excitement of riding a custom Harley Davidson and custom Chopper. You may. All right, we broke down. <laughs> oh God, we ran out of petrol. <laughs> We're in reserve right now. We've got enough for about five days. Nearest petrol station is about a k away. We can make it. We can make it. We have to make it. <laughs> That's another problem. So there's no gauge telling you how much fuel you have left. You just have to shake your tank around and you gotta listen to it. 
And luckily I could hear a little drop of liquid moving around in there, so I straight away put the reservoir on, so it's on the reserve, just to get us to the servo, so we're lucky, lucky that we had that. That's a good thing when you custom build something, always have a reserve backup, and that we did in this part. Pops, crackles, backfire, it's just amazing. <laughs> Everybody thinks that these are hard to ride, they really are in a way. We've got this bike well balanced, so it's not actually balanced to one side, so it's not leaning to the left or to the right. It's a lot easier to ride when you have it well balanced. And you can take corners okay, they're not the best, don't forget it's only just like a tour, touring bike, that's all. You can only have fun with it, but nothing else. Which is amazing. We're lucky enough to have that opportunity. But let's fill it up. <laughs> yes, now we get the full brood. Now I've got some petrol in this beast. <laughs> This is what I'm talking about. The sun's shining and you're riding this piece. Unbelievable. This is it. <laughs> that brute 145 cubic inch motor. Unbelievable. So much fun, so much fun. How can you not love a chopper? It's that old American muscle look, old school look. Hold on for the last! Woo! <laughs> oh, this engine, the pinnacle. Okay. The main attraction, the star of the show on this bike is this engine. The Custom Patrick 145 cubic inch motor is phenomenal. That's it, I just can't stop saying it. I love it. I love it. The brakes are good, six piston calipers up front, four piston at the rear, it's a single spoiler. It does the job. Everything is pretty much how you want it. And it just feels great. It feels great. I just don't want to get off this thing. Loving it so much. The way it rides. So good. You've got to have muscles to ride this thing. Well, we did want to build it to my heart. Six foot one. 245 pounds, sometimes tip in the scales at 255. So it's perfect for me. If you're only one a bit shorter than me, you're gonna have a hard time reaching these handlebars. Because everything's right down, stretched out. Got an 8 inch over frame. The frame is 8 inch over a standard. The front end is 10 inches over. The rake in the front end is 8 degrees. Phenomenal. Different, very, very different different ride altogether, you are leaning forward a bit, but for me it, it works. This is how I wanted it, that's what I did, exactly what I wanted. I love it. Well guys, this is Supercar Advocate. I'm gonna sign out. Hope you enjoyed watching. Plenty more cars, super bikes, everything to come. Enjoy the show.